Maybe I'm wrong and since I'm kind of young, 19M, I don't have a lot of experience and I'm hoping that nobody else has experienced my particular circumstances. I lost my parents in a car accident a week ago today. It was a no-fault accident during bad conditions with a misjudged distance that unfortunately lead to the death of both my parents and the other vehicle's occupant, a father. I just talked to his family today, no hard feelings or hatred, just a lot of sadness and regret all around, and they are very nice people. But, over the last few weeks, I have been talking to a girl, who I will call Sage, alias Eust. We attended the same high school in the same grade, but she is about six months older than me, making her twenty as of now. I only had a few classes with her and a lunch period in the whole four years of school, but we were never friends nor did we stay in touch. In fact, to my knowledge, the deepest conversation we've ever had is me explaining different variants of deadlifts to her since she was just getting into lifting in her senior year of high school. She was always very attractive but I was a loner for the most part and not really in a good state of mental health or respect for other people so I never asked her out or anything. Back on topic, recently, I met her at the park while she was out walking her dog and she actually recognized me. I never get recognized from high school classmates and I've dropped 70 pounds since then, 310-240, so now I'm a lot thinner but still pretty bulky because I've continued to lift. But we got to talking. We exchanged numbers about 10 days ago and we've been having on and off conversations. Unfortunately my work schedule was very busy, by choice, I work 6x11, saving money, so we never had time as she has commitments on Sunday, my only off day. Well, with the death of my parents, I actually had time to respond to her texts, two weeks paid bereavement leave, and through the immense loneliness and near physical pain of having to deal with this situation, she was actually a major bright spot, someone I could reply to with faking a cheerful attitude and even when she called me I drank water to loosen up my naturally quiet voice, made quieter by rarely talking to anyone these days. Well, she asked me out on Monday morning for the same evening. Being a spontaneous person, with my last normal 4x10 job I once randomly decided to take a three-day camping trip and showed up directly at work the next week, I agreed and we planned the details. I looked forward to seeing her in person, because she was still very beautiful and a great conversationalist, as well as funny and quick wit. That same day, I went to my parents' memorial. It's the first time probably since I hit puberty that I really ugly cried and went all out, seeing two caskets in the room and just two other living people there to support me, my pastor, and the funeral director. I left there feeling like I just crossed the Rubicon, like my life was completely and finally changed into a completely new direction even though every other circumstance is the same, with the addition of a lot more room in my house and a considerable infusion of cash from two car sales coming soon and a smallish inheritance, not ungrateful in the slightest, but I don't want people to get the idea I'm a millionaire now. I met Sage at a local park, and honestly she blew me away the first time I saw her, First time in person since HS I mean. First, she's actually ripped, 
and since we planned on walking to the local food truck station and then playing basketball, she was in a tank top and athletic shorts. She isn't like, a roid monster ripped with 20 arms, but like, well-toned muscles, clearly does a lot of work. She's got washboard ABS, and big quads, basically very athletic. Also, she's missing a leg. Without details because it's kind of private info, she lost her leg shortly after HS from private, to Reddit, reasons and it's one of the reasons she works so hard exercising now. We walked over and got tacos from a street cart, and then went back to the park and played basketball. I'm a big and quite athletic guy, 5 feet 11 inches 240 with decent lift numbers and well conditioned in both sprints and distance running. She absolutely destroyed me. It was first to 21, outside the 3P line is worth 2 points, and inside is 1. She beat me 21 to 9. To be fair, I'm not that good, and I wasn't going to demolish her physically, so perhaps it wasn't absolutely what I could have achieved. Either way, I did give it my best but she was an all-conference WBB player so I don't think I really stood a chance either way. It's the most fun I've had in months and honestly took my mind off my parents for the night. She was also a good sport and it was good to get comfortable with the other person in a less intimate but still not ideal setting, sweaty and tired, hair and clothes messed up, but having a blast. Well, the rest of it went great and we talked a long time, both catching up our lives and regular first date stuff, but I didn't tell her about my parents. I said there were family events going on so I might not be available for the time being, and she was honestly so sweet about it. We kept talking and I found out she works somewhat near me. Unfortunately, she both starts and ends in between my time at work, and since I have the next 11 work days off, I don't really have anything to do in that area so it's best to just plan for time we both have available. She's very intelligent, both street and book, she's literally a ten-tenths beauty, even conventionally, she has piercing eyes, great shape of her face, and her smile makes me want to just stare at her. She kissed me on the cheek as I left. She walked from two blocks away, I drove about four miles so I didn't need to take her home, and we've been talking a lot since. I'm taking her to dinner tomorrow night and honestly I feel like I'm recovering too fast lol. My humor, my sense of style and dress, and my actual happiness at day-to-day -day events is all coming back much more rapidly than I thought it would. And no, before you say it, it's not a rebound relationship or desperation from me, we were already talking before my parents' accident and she asked me out first. She hasn't been in a relationship since her HS boyfriend broke up with her before moving away for college, she goes to a local university, I go to an online college part-time, the ex goes to a college about 1,400 miles away, nearly two years ago.